I'd like to talk about 3-4 timing, specifically strumming 3-4 patterns on guitar. And So if you're new to guitar and you're new to a 3-4 pattern, this is just a way to get used to what 3-4 timing looks like. 3-4 timing is actually, while it's not as common as 4-4, four, four, that's what we usually hear songs in, 3-4 is still very common. Um, one of the most song, popular songs or famous songs ever written was Amazing Grace, and that is in 3-4 timing. So what is 3-4 timing? 3-4 timing is where we have three beats in a measure, specifically three quarter notes. And so if I was to count it and move my hand with it so you could visually see where the beat starts over, we would have one, two, three, one, two, three. That is 3-4 timing. Now how we get used to doing 3-4 timing on the guitar, a, a very simple exercise that I like to do is I like to just take my strings mute the strings so my fingers are just laying across the strings. I'm not pressing them down so it, so it sounds like that, but have my fingers across the strings and as I strum it, it will sound like this, just like that. Now to practice a 3-4 strum pattern, I'm going to start off with just counting and striking my strings um, with three beats and emphasizing beat one each time. So it will sound like this, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's very important to emphasize that first beat because what you're doing is you're internalizing that three, four fill. Three, four fills different than four, four. And because you're used to four, four, you have to almost rewire your thinking uh, for three, four. So again, all I'm doing is emphasizing that uh, first beat. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that's how we start off with getting used to three, four. The next thing we might want to do is throw in some sort of strumming pattern. And so what I'm going to do is at the end of the third beat, I'm going to throw in an up stroke. So it would sound like this then. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. But you'll notice I'm still emphasizing beat one because we're just trying to get used to that 3-4 pattern. So again, it's one, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. The whole time as I'm doing that, the important thing is, is that my upstroke is the same speed as it has been the whole time. So my hand's moving like this. A lot of times when people are first starting out on guitar, they'll go one, two, three, up. One, two, three, up, where there's almost a pause, and you want it to be even. So it's one, two, three, up, one, two, three, up, where your hand's moving the same speed. There's never a hesitation or a pause when you're doing your three, four timing. So start off with just that basic one, two, three, and then move to a, an actual strumming pattern. And if I was to do it with chords... is an introduction to playing in 3-4 timing. I hope that's helpful. If it is, subscribe to this channel.